history unfolding at schools, gyms, and rec centers across America. Community after community reporting record-breaking early voting, including here in North Texas, where Dallas County is shattering records every day. And no matter where you fall on the political spectrum, the turnout has been inspiring. But for some, these long lines mean a little more. Aside from just being delighted with the uh, long lines, it brings back uh, lots of memories and it's kind of a bittersweet type thing. That's Ruth Hans, a legendary businesswoman and restaurateur in Dallas, known as the queen of the State Fair of Texas, mentor to many and voting rights champion. And Ruth can remember when long lines meant something else, especially for black voters in the South. And standing in line at that time meant a different, whole different ball game than this. At 86 years old, Ruth has dedicated most of her life to voting rights and getting people registered to vote. So we thought we would check in with her to get her take on the unprecedented turnout. We ended up getting a moving history lesson told through one woman's eyes, a woman who represents so many. And we even had to count the, or estimate the number of jelly beans in a jar. When Ruth first started voting, it was well before the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Living in Houston at the time, that meant Jim Crow era voting restrictions, including poll taxes, where black men and women had to pay and present a receipt to cast their ballot literacy tests, and yes, as Miss Ruth says, even guessing the number of jelly beans in a jar before being allowed to vote. I've just uh, tried to encourage everybody. We just gotta, gotta keep pushing. Despite everything, that's what she did. She watched the March on Selma in 1965, and she and her late husband became deputized voter registrars in that same year, a title Ruth still holds today. That's been my job, to encourage people, whatever it takes we shall overcome. Like many, Ruth is dismayed by much of the current divisiveness, but sees hope and unity, citing this moment, the day after 9-11 as an America that we can be. We gotta love each other. I've gotta love a Republican, love a Democrat, whoever. It doesn't matter. These are all human beings. More recently, she sees hope in the name George Floyd, bringing people together to find a better way. There were so many, not only Black people in the protest, there were so many white outstretched arms, not only white, just all colors. And this, this gives me hope that somebody else actually kind of feels my plight or sees what has happened. And, and so this, hey, this just gave me so much encouragement. I'm, I'm feeling good right now. I really am. So what does Ruth think of the turnout we're seeing now? That's what we need, people to talk to each other, to to understand each other. A woman who has seen the best and worst of this country over nearly 90 years. She sees progress and how much further we can all go together.